Greetings, welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I am your host, Chaos, as always. Thank you very much for joining me on this Doghouse Deck Tech Corner. What we're going to do today, we're going to start going through my Dragon Base Commander decks. I do a lot of selecting Dragon Commanders. The deck will not always be a Dragon Tribal. There are a couple I have, um, but... Usually what I end up going through is basically just picking a game mechanic and building off of that. But I try to base it off of commander uh, uh, commanders that are dragon creatures uh, more than anything else. It's kind of just something that I selected to do myself. I have others that you guys have seen that are not dragon commanders. But eh, the rest I kind of focus in on those. I have... I believe, what is this, seven? Yeah, seven decks that have uh, commanders that are dragon creatures. So that's what I kind of focus in on. Today, the one that we're going to be going through is a more recently built commander deck that I have been using. It's very fun, very interesting. Uh, you've probably seen a number of decks like it. Um, but what I run on this one is Galazeth Prismari. Is it? So, this is a very nice, very fun. Um, you've probably seen a lot of decks like this one. It is a uh, instance in sorceries copying deck where I go and do everything I can to create all the treasures possible because with Galazeth himself, uh, what you get is a 3-4 flyer for 2 blue-red. He is a Elder Dragon. Uh, he is a flying, when Galazeth Prismari enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Okay, not bad. Not bad to start with. Then, we get into the meat and potatoes of the deck. Artifacts you control have tap at a mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast instant or sorcery spells. So, yes. Very much uh, a deck built around different artifacts, creating... Uh, Food tokens, creating treasure tokens, gold tokens, uh, creating clue tokens, whatever tokens I can build up, and then basically just pop off some uh, very big, very nasty, very capable spells. Uh, a few X spells here and there, so we'll go through those here in just a moment. But this is my Galazeth Prismari deck, so let's go to it here. We'll put Mr. Galazeth up in the corner, and then scoot the deck off to the side here all right so first thing first is going to be the basic islands there we go so we have 11 basic islands i did choose uh the ones from new capenna uh felt they i don't know just had a good feel to them for galazeth so uh, basically chose one art and, and decked out the whole deck with these. So, yes, that is 11 basic islands. Next on the list is going to be the second half of our is it? Basic Mountains. Again, chose the same art, also from New Capenna. Full art. So, we have 11 mountains, mounting mounts. All right. Next up, we have 11 unique lands. So, here we go. Get a little focus there. We have Mystic Sanctuary, Seat of Synod, Reliquary Tower, Myriad Landscape, Great Furnace, Storm Carved Coast, Fabled Passage, Treasure Vault, Silver Bluff Bridge, Sulphur Falls, and Command Tower. So that way we can get to the color land we need when we need it. Next in line are the artifacts. All right, so artifacts. So for the artifacts, we do have, let's see, 13. 13 artifacts in this deck. 
So we've got Gold Vein Pick, Treasure Map, Inspiring Statuary, Mind Splice, Appar Mind Splice Apparatus, Primal Amulet, Thought Vessel, Decanter of Endless Water, Howling Mine, which is a great classic, uh, Swiftfoot Boots, Lotus Blossom, Wayfarer's Bobble, Unwinding Clock, which is very nice when you're popping off instants and sorceries to be able to untap all your stuff when others untap. So, very nice way to recycle your stuff so you always have mana available to be able to pop off counter spells and different stuff that are in here uh, to basically just answer away at whatever everybody else is doing. And Isochron Scepter. So, I do have. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, but I'll double check it. I do have the Isochron Scepter Dramatic Reversal combo in here. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that is most definitely on the list. It, it's it, it's a bit of a staple run, um, but I decided if I was going to run it, this was going to be the deck that I would run it in. So, next we are up to Enchantments. And we have only four. We've got Curse of Opulence, Trial of Evidence, Trail, Trail of Evidence, I always say Trial, Trail of Evidence, Metallurgic Summonings, and Storm the Vault, which this one's nice because it ends up flipping and becoming the Vault of Catlacan. Uh, uh, which is nice because you can tap it, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, and tap for a blue for each artifact you control. That could be huge late game if you got some big spells to pop off. So, there we go. Four enchantments. Now, sorceries. We have ten in this category. All right, so a lot of these are going to be based around copying instants, duplicating, searching for instants, um, a lot of recursion of instants and sorceries to be able to cast off your big stuff and be able to, you know, deal deal some good damage with Galazeth if you decide to go that route, or just pop off a spell and basically blow up the whole board, you know, nuking all your opponents. So uh, we have solve the equation. Explore, uh, expressive Iteration, Faithless Looting, Pirate's Prize, Jaya Immolating Inferno, Brass's Bounty, Seize the Spoils, Insurrection, which is a great one late game if you can pull this off, basically just take because it does not target, so Hexproof doesn't mean squat. Uh, can't you know because it's basically just untap all creatures, gain control of them, and so this gets around hexproof, this gets around can't be targeted, gets around a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, yeah, very nice one. I've won a number of games with this card alone, uh, just pulling it off at the right time and being able to basically just you know take over slap everybody and you know go about my way and it's great in this deck because you hopefully have you know counter spells and redirects and copies and different stuff in your hand to be able to answer to anybody that comes up and is like oh i'm gonna counter this or i'm a you know fog or i'm gonna do whatever it may be so very nice very strong one mana geyser pirates pillage so there we go for the sorceries. All right, now we're getting to the nitty gritty, the, the meat and potatoes of this deck here. We are going to be going through the instants next. Uh, instants, we have 23. 23 instants for this deck. Uh, and I will say this deck has not been super optimized. It's, it's a little bit of a budget deck. Um, so it is not going to be full of some of the big bad you know um force of wills and that kind of stuff so it's got some of the lower end things as far as uh instants and uh sorceries and that kind of stuff so yeah let's go let's get to it 
Classic Counterspell, Dream Fracture, Unexpected Windfall, Narset's Reversal, Dramatic Reversal, again, use that with the Isochron Scepter, and off to the races you go to blow up everybody. Twinferno, Mystical Tutor, Big Score, Sublime Epiphany, Confirmed Suspicions, Pull from Tomorrow, Comet Storm, Urza's Rebuff, uh, Expansion and Explosion, they should call this the, uh, the Mr. Tord card. I have one question for you. Explosions? It's, it's not really a question, but yes. Galvanic Iteration. Reinterpret. Blue Sun's Zenith. Horn Swoggle. Spell Swindle. Or run them pockets. Uh, uh, whirlwind denial. Electro dominance. Reiterate. And a big one. Uh, Storm King's thunder. And that one, if you pop off some of the damage spells and some of the copies and things like that, and then you've got a bunch of mana, you can basically take, you know, whatever spell. You know, let's say you've got a whole bunch of mana available. You could do uh, Electro Dominance, where X is the damage to any target. You may cast a card with a converted cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So you could pop off this, pop off something else to copy it, and then dump a bunch of mana into Storm King's Thunder and basically just mash anybody straight in the jaw with a whole bunch of damage or whatever you may need to do in order to pull off that win. You can Comet Storm them and then dump a bunch of mana into Storm Kings and it says when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell X times, you may choose new targets for the copies. So you could pop this off and put a, just dump a bunch of mana into it and then basically do one mana into this with two red and copy it you know however many times it's it's got some really really nice combos to it some really nice capabilities um or even just you know draw out somebody's deck or you know any number of different things very nice very fun uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. very capable there and then last but not least you gotta have some creatures in there. I mean, you don't have to. Uh, there's by no means any reason that you must do that, but I, I, I have to have creatures. I'm a very creature-based player. So, we got some very nice cards in here, as we are about to show. So, Ingenious Arterialist, Archmage Emeritus. Oh, uh, so we had... 23 on the instance, creatures is 16. So, uh, Archmage Emer uh, Emeritus? Emeritus? Emeritus. Uh, I know a professor just went off about like pronouncing this card uh, on one of his local videos, uh, recent videos. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably butchering that one pretty badly. Alright, third path, Iconoclast. Elkite Tyrant, Smoldering Egg, Gadric the Crown Scourge, Stormkiln Artist, Manaform Hellkite, Dual Caster Mage, Shimmer Dragon, Gutter Snipe, Runaway Steam Kiln, Reality Chip, the Reality Chip, and it wouldn't be an Is It deck if there wasn't a Niv of some way, shape, form, or manner. So we have Niv Mizzet Payroon, 
Academy Manufacturer, which is a huge card in this deck. So whenever you would create a clue, food, or treasure token, which a lot of this deck is based around, uh, instead create one of each, which is huge. So now instead of creating, let's say, five treasures, now you're going to create five treasures, five clues, and five food tokens. And I've had that go off pretty nicely and just mopped up the board at the end of a game with you know with his ability on the stack so and then zorn which is again another one if you would create one or more treasure tokens instead create those tokens plus an additional so let's say you're gonna create um five tokens uh treasure tokens well he creates an additional token so when he creates the additional, let's say you get six treasures. Now you get six treasures, and then you get six clues, and then you get six food. So it's it's huge. It's huge. And then, actually, I think it would, thinking about it, I, mm, 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 if you would create... If you would create, mm, actually, I think that would end up being even more with these two on the board. I think in the back of my mind, it would end up being a point where, ooh, you could almost. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would think. Academy manufacturer and Zorn, if these guys are both out, would it almost go infinite? Basically, we play it to where you got to pick a number, but would this be almost an infinite combo? Because if you would create that, and then one additional, and then his ability on there as well, would it just be like I said, if it was six, six, and six, or would it almost be an infinite to where our group we house rule to where it's like you have to pick a number, so you got to pick. 2,000, 1,500, 200, whatever. Would that almost be kind of an infinite drop? Or am I am I overthinking that one? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it. That's what we've got. This is, again, Galazeth Prismari. Very fun deck. Love playing it. Uh, this is one of the more recent decks that I have uh, created. And it's been fun. I like it. Uh, gives me my instant and sorceries copying uh, abilities and uh, some more, you know, fun stuff to be able to do. Uh, I have a good time with it. It's not super optimized. I know there's probably a bunch of cards out there that would end up being really good to go with this. I know the recent Lord of the Rings set dropped and the, I think there is a, is it Gandalf that's in that set that would probably go well with this deck. So let me know any other uh, suggestions or ideas you guys have that might beef this deck up a little bit or anything that you saw in here that you liked and was like, oh, hey, I never thought about that. So other than that, I am Chaos with Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I'm going to sign out of here. You all have a happy, safe, and fun day. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like these videos and want to see more of them or have suggestions, anything like that, please leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever we do more videos. Other than that, y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.